is how I was able to structure a no money deal. All right, I bought, I bought this house that you guys see behind me with no money out of my own pocket or any credit checks, all right? I'm moving around so that you guys can see this house, man. This thing is beautiful. Now, I'm gonna tell you the story quick. I'm gonna be quick about it because I gotta go pick my son up from school here in a minute, all right? So, um, this house, it was in foreclosure, all right? It was getting ready to go to auction. It had about 16 days till auction. I found it in the legal section of my local newspaper, man. Foreclosure auctions, guys, are public record. Anybody has access to that information. You've got access to way more information than you know, all right? So guys, my name is Gene Boykin. I'm the founder of the Go-Getter Family Real Estate Investing Academy, all right? This is where I teach people to buy investment properties by becoming the bank, all right? No credit checks, no showing W-2s, no proof of income, debt to income ratios, realtors, inspectors, any of that stuff, all right? That's how I bought this house that you see behind me, all right? Now, it didn't always look like this, all right? This is what it looked like before. All right, you guys see that, all right? Now, you're gonna see a whole shot, a little video running of the after. Huh, yeah, that's how we're getting down. And guys, I didn't pay for any of that work, so check it out. All right, so they hadn't paid the mortgage on this place in uh, three years, okay? Three whole years. They were behind about 40 some odd thousand dollars. So the house was getting ready to go to sheriff's auction and they felt like um, there was nothing else that anybody could do, okay? So one of the family members tried to get something called a short sale on this property. A short sale, for those of you that do not know, is when you get in touch with the bank, you fill out some paperwork and then you, you offer the bank a lump sum but it's less than what is owed on the original mortgage, the existing loan. The bank, they can approve that or they can deny it. Well, they denied this one. So they felt like there was no other route for them to go um, besides just letting this thing get auctioned off, right? Well, I found them. That's where the go-getter family's four P's of real estate investing and our ACES system comes into play, guys. Awareness. First, with the four Ps, I found a problem, guys, a problem. This house was in foreclosure. So they got a problem for me to solve. That makes me more valuable to them with the knowledge that I have. I was able to stop that foreclosure auction, all right? So um, I'm not gonna get into all the backstory of it, uh, just some of the numbers here, all right? So they were about, they, again, they were three years behind. So um, they were about $43,000 behind in back payments, all right? The existing mortgage is about 123,000. This property, it's in one of the best neighborhoods in my city, hands down, all right? So I had to get some squatters out of here, all right? Now they were family members of the previous owner, but he didn't want them in here. He was getting ready to go to foreclosure. So what I did was I got the proper documents signed, all right? I got power of attorney of him, um, transferred the property into a trust real quick. And then my company is also buying this thing on contract, all right? So I had complete and utter control. That's when um, I got with the servicing company. I contacted the servicing company and I used uh, um, some foreclosure mitigation, loss mitigation, that, that was established by the government and then pushed hard by Obama. Um, it was established in the 80s, all right, for people to not get foreclosed on. So I got a forbearance on this property, stopping the auction, all right? Stopped the auction completely, but I offered the seller $5,000, all right? I'm taking over the existing mortgage of 123,000, and then I offered the seller $5,000. Now, this is the key. This is where the no money comes in. You can structure deals like this, guys. You can structure a deal any way that your mind can imagine, all right? You just have to do the proper type of transaction, and then you have to have the right paperwork, all right? But what I did was um, I structured this so that I didn't have to pay the 5,000 until the house was fixed up and sold. Fixed up and sold. So that means I didn't use any money out of my own pocket. I sold it and I used the proceeds from the sell to, to pay the 5,000, all right? Now, um, there's a little bit of a backdrop story behind all of this, this property, but just so you guys know, when you become the bank, your ability to solve a problem, that's what determines if you can be a real estate investor and be a successful real estate investor. It's no longer up to you having good credit 
or needing a lump sum of money, guys, out of your own pocket to be able to do this. As long as you have that knowledge and you can solve a problem. See, this is the thing. I tell this to my people. I had a situation today. I'm not going to get into too much of it, but my transaction coordinator, we're working on a property in Denver. We got to stop a foreclosure out there and turn in what's called an intent to cure, right? So we're going to pay the defaulted amount. Well, he couldn't get through to anybody. He couldn't get the uh, exact number. I sent one email, guys, one email, and I got everything that we needed. Now, the difference lies in this. Me, I have a warrior mindset, all right? There's nothing that is going to stop me from getting to my goal, nothing. I know that I will be successful at it. If it is something that is possible, even humanly possible, I know that I can do it. So that, so me putting that energy out there, that's what manifests. But when you go into situations with doubt and, and, and anxiety and angst, that is what you manifest. So it is as easy as switching a flip in your own mind. And you can go from being unsuccessful to highly successful, all right? So guys, don't forget to hit that like button, all right? And if you feel like I brought you some value, um, consider subscribing to my channel, all right? Or you can just be a player about it. Hit that subscribe button, man. I just showed you guys how I got a no money property, huh? Huh? You see this? Yeah, no money property, guys. Now, if you wanna learn more about this, man, just subscribe to my channel, guys. I give game all the time, man.